as I'm not as bangable, not as bangable as the, as I'm not as bangable as, as I'm not as bangable as the previous, as I'm not as bangable as the previous host, as I'm not as bangable as the previous host. <laughs>Oh, that's right, friends. It's your main man, Z. And here we are talking about Frosticles again. Ah, uh, yes, our good friend Frosticles. And uh, for those of you who are unaware of this particular circumstance, what we have here is a situation that is uncivilized. Basically, we did a video previously on the Our Reviews Will Kill You, where I discussed a little bit about uh, the G4 presenter here, Frosk, and her take. We played a little bit of it, had Noob Noob react to it, and uh, it seems like the scales have escalated. And what I wanted to talk about is how this has created a rift on YouTube, but more importantly, a discussion with you guys as to what you think is really going on and how you would react to this because I think there's two sides of this case. So for those of you who don't know, there is a debate on whether or not we're going to get an interview with Frosk. There are two, there's a bunch of parties debating over this because they all want to interview her. She came out and said she'd love to talk to the toxic YouTube community and gave out a number, which turned out to be maybe a number that wasn't right. And none of that really matters. Either way, people have reached out to her and seems like she wants to come on and talk to some people. Uh, Jeremy with the quartering here, our bearded guy there. He is a big time YouTuber, has over a million subs and was in the running to get the interview with her. There's been a bunch of others that were a little smaller, including the guy on the left here who is Yellow Flash. I like both channels. They're all right. Uh, Jeremy from the quartering... Uh, they both have different takes on things. So ultimately, um, they got into a back and forth online where they were debate. There was a little bit of uh, trash talk between the two of them as to who would get the interview. And uh, it's more of an ideolog ideological stance between the two of them because I don't really care. It's like he said, she said, it doesn't matter to me. Um, and I don't care about, inter I don't have a dog in the race. I'm not going to interview Frosk. <laughs> We're not big enough. We don't even really care. I mean, Noob Noob might do other things to Frosk, but um, that's for a different video. Anyhow, the big debate is what do we do? You know, it really comes to two stances. Jeremy from the quartering says that he would just do a regular interview with her and it would be a normal, like be very respectful and, and all that jazz. And then as Yellow Flash had, he had a, uh, a round table with him and he had um, um, one of the Gamergate guys. And it's not really fair to call him Gamergate, but Ethan Van Schreier, who uh, was one of the artists who used to work for DC and got into, uh, I don't even care about the trouble. Uh, it's not Gamergate, it's Comicgate. But he got himself... You know, he's now independent where he does his own uh, artwork and his own writing. And he has a very, very popular series. Um, something about a frog. I forget what it's called, but good for him. I'm glad he's a creator. I'm glad he has his own singular voice. That sounds great. If you don't like what you're doing in the mainstream or they kick you out, go start your own thing. Whatever. I get it. I'm, I'm down with that. But here's the real philosophical debate, I guess, that I'm trying to get across you have one side that says, I want to do a respectful interview with her. And Jeremy has now stepped down and said he's not going to interview her because too many of his fans or maybe his fan base and it's caused too much drama. And he's he's like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to be accused of trying to get it for the money or for the super chats or, or whatever it is. And he did say um, the yellow flash would be doing it for the super chats to, to make money. So for those of you who don't know, if there's super chats, those are, are you know, when the chat's going, you get, you donate money so that people can, can essentially talk to you. Now, what I find interesting is the platforming versus non-platforming. So Yellow Flash and his team and his friends were saying, like, why would you give this woman a platform? 
Why would you allow her to speak? We don't need her vile whatever on their side of the fence. Like they think that she's, you know, accusing everybody of sexism. I'm sure she gets plenty of hate online. I don't disagree with that. Everybody gets hate online. Um, here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, we've been threatened to be murdered. It's a thing, you know, people, we've had gangsters threaten to kill us and other people threaten to deplatform us. It's all good. We're all good here in the hood. You just take it. When you decide to be online, you're going to get a certain level of, of um, people coming for you. So Jeremy and his, I think his friend Vito now, who I also watch his stuff too, Vito has said that he would do the interview and that he would make it a nice discourse. There's no reason to be mean to the lady where the Flash and his contingent are saying that if you're going to interview or be, you know, it should be contentious. It should be a fight between the two of them because she's being disrespectful to gamers and all that stuff. Either way, I don't know that I care because um, I was trying to think about it. Like, how do you feel about this? And and let me know in the comments because I'm still sitting on the fence somewhere. A, I don't care. Anybody should have whatever platform they want to. I'm all about free speech. You say whatever you want. Free speech needs to be defended. It's one of the reasons why we here in America have what we have. We take it too lightly. We take it for granted all the time. Free speech must be protected. Yet here they're talking about platforming people. And I'm like, the chick has a TV show. Like she's on G4 and she's entitled to what, and her opinion is valid on some level. <laughs> she's right when she says that she's sitting there getting um, hate messages. It's just the way that she presented it. And the fact that she admitted that she's reading scripts and those type of things that I, I personally took offense to but i don't care she's allowed to say that it's it's entertaining you know it's the most entertaining new thing g4 has done and do i think adam sessler is vile for what the garbage that he's been saying sure but he's allowed to say it it allows me to know who not to talk to right that's what i think about this in interview do i necessarily care i already heard her opinion she has a platform she said what she said and I don't think she's going to back off of it. She's allowed to defend herself. I mean, if she wants to go on and do an interview, I don't necessarily think I'd, I would you know, pay attention or pay a super chat to talk to her or ask her a question like, why do you really feel like there's sexism in gaming? Like, I don't care. But I just thought it was interesting that this, pla that this, um, this, this fight's come out between these guys where you know, platforming versus non-platforming. And it's like, I think you're, we're missing the boat here. And then being respectful or not respectful. Why do you know, a spec, a respect should be earned, not given. I, I don't necessarily think that if she's attacked the gamer community that she deserves to be like handled with kid gloves. Are you being, are you white knighting her because you're trying to be like, oh, she's a woman. I should be nice to her. Let her say what she has to say, and then, you know, I don't think you should be rude to each other, Or, but I also don't think, you know, antagonistic is, like, I don't think you should be antagonistic, but you shouldn't have to be like, oh, come on, it'll be a nice little interview, and we won't we won't get into a fight back or forth, me, 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 me. But at the same time, like, giving her, like, you're not deplatforming her. She has a platform. She has, you know, I know their channel's not doing fantastic, but she's a personality. She's a presenter. And it's got views. That particular clip that I played just a little bit ago um, has, you know, 100,000 so views or whatever, 150,000, 190,000, and keeps going up because people keep talking about it. So she's allowed to say what she wants. And why, like, what's the deplatforming thing? Like, that's what they say. They want to deplatform everybody. Don't deplatform people. Let people speak. The only place where we can meet is in the, uh, you know, we have to express our ideas so that you can only defeat bad ideas with better ideas and better dialogue and better conversation. So I guess I'm on the side of like, if you want to do an interview with it, do it. But I'm not that interested. I just think it's funny that this channel, you see, my take is more that this channel has decided to commit itself to accusing like, I play a ton of video games. I review them here. We play, you know, Noob Noob plays a ton of them. Everyone we interact with is toxic. They're all evil. They hide behind anonymity and just spew evil hate because it's a, it's a, video games are an outlet for people. They go out and, and vent their frustrations. So you're not going to have like a nice community when it comes to, 
you'll have nice people in the community, but as a general whole, you have immature people playing a game and you're just not going to get nice people. Like, you just have to deal with it. So, tell me what you think. Which side are you on? D platform? Platform? Should she be allowed to say what she wants? Should she not? I'm still, like I said, I think I know where I stand, but I could use your help. So let me know. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what we just covered here and some of the other things that we do. Uh, we're trying to get to 300 to do a really great video for you on YouTube where we play Fire Bear Roulette. I don't want to play Fire Bear Roulette, but if you get us there, we'll do it. We're going to mix up Fire Bears. One of them will be one of these little Nitro Bears right here, these super hot bears. Uh, actually, two of them, and who knows who'll get it between Noob Noob and I. And uh, it could be dangerous. It's very hot. But also, check out our full-length audio podcast. You can catch it anywhere for free. Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, or not YouTube, iTunes. We do stream it live on YouTube for you. We're also on Rumble, so check that out, too. Uh, we're starting there to see what it's like, see how we like it. See, uh, work out some of the kinks, so check out that as well. And um, that's all I got for me. I'm on to the next one. Thank you.